Hi ladies, it's me, Faye Ray, and I'm back with a, a new version, my revamped garden mini. On the first clip, I showed you what my old garden mini looked like. And as I said, that was done before I had even discovered mini albums. So now here is my redesigned garden mini. And let me show you what I did. I um, basically used the same um, length. I think this is a 4 by 12. Uh, for four and a half by 12 and um, I added a lot of fibers on this one I just really spruced up the front of it and this is going to take me a while so I'm, I'm probably going to have a part two and I'm so glad that I finally got my Tim Holtz dies and this is the bird cage and um, so this is what I did some of these features I um, took from the first mini and that's one of them this chipboard um, piece that says reflection and I use ribbon to attach it and there is my title choose to remember added a butterfly accent there and this um, uh, garden gate is a uh, an older um, Sizzix die one of the longer um, yellow dies and I um, cut that out twice. And here's a picture of um, one of my garden spots. And there are some chipboard flowers. And as I said, the Tim Holtz bird cage. And I added uh, um, one of his um, clasps there and um, hung a flower charm from it. I added um, some more ribbon here and um, adhered some little. Um, copper pieces that say simplify everything enjoy life I added some bling at the bottom of the bird cage and of course here are my fibers okay on the first page this is what I did to it and I also used uh -oh, uh, another let me fix my sign here um, element that I have you probably remember seeing that page and I said oh did I do that oh. but I added a um, a stamp here of some garden gloves and I um, embossed that using some black embossing powder but I kept the, the little tag the same it still has the same sentiment inside and uh, on the back side though I used some um, peel crackle paint and I stamped some butterflies on the back of that and that just slides in there and there's another picture of one of my garden spots this um, mini is really long so I might have to uh, do a lot of moving and uh, repositioning I added some um, ribbon here and a little ribbon a little pin that's a coordinating color and I may hang a charm from that later. And I also um, stamped another image here, sentiment, that says, if I had a single flower for every time I think about you, I could walk forever in my garden. And this is a um, photo mat that I uh, cut using my Cricut. And then I added some um, little dew drops. Uh, one of the Sizzix key dies, I cut that. And that's the back side of that ribbon. And this paper collection, most of it is from the DCWV um, Garden Party collection. So if you've ever seen that collection, really beautiful paper. And on this page, I um, this is some of the um, designs that's already on the page. This is uh, from the original Garden Mini. And I just added this chipboard piece that says happiness from this paper stack. Um, this is another um, element I added. It says flutter. And this is one of the tabs. And here's a, another picture of a garden spot. 
added another little tab from the collection and this is also from the original mini just a little um, tag that says thoughts okay on the next page what I did was I um, used an acetate um, pocket here and having trouble keeping that down but I might have to maybe hot glue that and um, added some more um, chipboard and some um, paper on the side this is a uh, another picture from my garden here are some tags I need to get in front of the camera and added a and a journal spot there and this says garden joy stamp that and also on the back is journaling added some bling and also made this like a tag and get that out and added um, this stamp on it and this paper I think is from another paper line then I added this flourish and as well this paper is from another paper line and on this page I um, added a lot of elements here this chipboard piece is from the original um, mini added a tag this came from the garden party collection and stamped that added that there this is also from the garden party collection. this is also um, a piece that was in the original is um, many of you have heard this serenity God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change and I added some ribbon that's from the original and this is one uh, another garden spot and uh, sentiment there I added this um, flower from a Sizzix die and this is also from the original mini. I gotta hurry on this page I didn't add, I added a, a, a flower there, but this had a um, pattern paper that had roses that looked like they were brush stroked on. I um, stamped this sentiment with love, made a, a rose from a Sizzix dye, and I made the top of the rose black and um, embossed it with my cuddle bug. I um, added this sentiment, which used to be a card, and um, just added that with some dew drops and some tags behind there these two tags and I love my garden this is from the original um, mini and then I just stamped the journaling on the back and on this page ooh, I'm running into eight minutes um oh with and this flower I um I took a picture with my um uh, my cell phone and um, I have the little um, um, Pogo Polaroid Pogo and I um, I used my phone and my um, Pogo and I sent that to my Pogo and it printed it out from my phone I like that little um, um, photo printer and this is another um, garden spot and I added a, a butterfly, a blinged butterfly, and a prima flower, and um, uh, um, a little um, photo mat here, a journaling mat. And this is cut with the edges are cut with a Martha Stewart punch. And um, this is a tag. It says the same thing as the butterfly, all natural beauty. And I folded a dolly and made a pocket for it. And um, I'm going to have to stop here. And hopefully I can make it through the second part of this without going into a third part. So hold on for the second part.